Provoking, spiritually challenging, and a life changing experience. Our discussions and messages can be raw, real, and at times very uncomfortable and even controversial. We highly encourage all of our guests and listeners to take notes, leave comments, and when possible, always share what you hear. Now, here are your hosts, Pastor So and Pastor Mia. everybody doing this morning it is early bird on a wednesday um hope thanks you guys for joining in and tuning in to this uh this week's riverside weekly podcast all of our folks listening overseas what what we got man we like we got folks in like egypt and um, I can't even think of all the Four places the yes man we're all over man so what's up want to say a, a big shout out to um my people up in arizona listening uh, thanks f- for tuning in and all the way down so, south. What's up, guys? And south, the south, McAllen folks be tuning in. And uh, so appreciate you guys listening in. And then uh, uh, up in uh, Dallas area, listen, folks, man, we got folks listening from all over the place. And um, I can't think, of, I know we got some folks in South Africa and um, Egypt. Man, I can't think of all. I should have pulled all those up before I, before we got on. But uh, we are worldwide. <laughs> we are, man, we're all over the place. So um, we got this morning. Um, got uh <coughs> capital g g g uh sitting with us this morning um uh just talk about what's going on with you man what's the word what's going on uh word i don't know i don't i don't know who all um we, have some, we got listeners all over the place man so yeah. ca- i guess just kind of do an introduction like who you are where you're from okay. uh what you do yeah uh, like just real i guess i say real quick but just whatever that looks like yeah uh my name is capital g for you who don't know uh my middle initial is G. That's where the G comes from. Capital is not lowercase G. It's uh, <laughs> the big one. I guess. It's the big, the big G. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, how old am I? 23 years old, from Waco, Texas. Waco. Uh, Two five four man. Yeah. Started making music probably a while back, and that's what I've been known for. I, I built a reputation around that. But so how how old were you? Start actually started. Probably like 14. Nah, not that. That's a lot. Probably like 16 when I started rapping. And then, when did you like? When, when did you like start getting serious with it? Like about yeah, about sixteen. But I guess everybody everybody knows. I was I was everybody raps. No, nah, no, not not that. I was gonna say everybody <laughs> everybody knew, and and I was known for uh, being musical. Whether it be playing the drums, I played the drums a little bit, played the piano a little bit, and then uh, it's a funny story. Actually, I got into music. I was actually uh, doing graphic design on a, a computer, and uh, my brothers at the time were living with me. Uh, my god brothers and uh, they rapped but I didn't rap I always thought that was not lame but it just wasn't wasn't for everyone and yeah. I thought I wasn't one of those guys and then uh, it just spit some bars for me G yeah just kind of <laughs> you, get, you, get, you get peer pressured into doing it and, and uh, that's what happened I started rapping and said man I can do this yeah and I started doing it but it's not now that I'm doing it I don't want to do it <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what I get myself into that kind of thing, but that's what I built. The Sounds a story of my life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, up until this point, it's been trial and error all the way up to 2019. <laughs> cool. So, um, I know you did a uh, you did your first your I know you did your first project with um uh your first solo project. Uh, you did sabbatical. Um, what year was that? Twenty was that twenty eighteen? Yeah, I think that was twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen that you did that. Um, but before that, you uh, before you did that, your solo um, album, you worked with a bunch of different artists, folks that you've worked with. Who are some of the artists that you worked with? Uh, I worked with, uh, for starters, I guess it all started with uh, Little Rascal. Okay, I started working with Little Rascal. I was affiliated with Javo Records. Uh, we did some work, uh, released a single, and then a few more singles after that, and then uh, we kind of just kept moving forward and. Uh, from there, I, I kind of, I, I wanted to, 
I, I, I found I connected with this guy named Bryson Pelly. Shout out to him. He produced he produced the album The Sabbatical, and he was just sending me beats. And I was I was uh, asking him, could you create a beat like this? Sending him sending him samples, not samples, but uh, kind of concepts. Concepts, basically, that's a better word. Yeah. And he he would build something that I was looking for. And it was, he, we were just having a good, uh, what do they call it, chemistry. Yeah. We were just working. So we just started doing that. And then eventually I just started putting out music. But by, not by myself, but I guess by myself I'm on my on my own agenda out of, out of creativity instead of uh, obligation. Yeah. And that kind of that kind of built a, a path for myself. And uh, I just copied. So, who, so, so who are some of the artists that you've worked with I guess uh, in the past as far as features and, okay. and stuff like yeah. that? I worked with, uh, uh, yeah, I got to say Little Rascal, number one. Number two, uh, I don't know if anybody knows K Drama. Anybody that listens to this podcast, but he's a, he's a guy I worked with. He he produced the uh, the first single that I ever released. Okay. Yeah, K Drama. He's a, he's a good guy. Who else? Um, Amai Washington. If anybody knows Amai Washington, shout out to him. Movementup.net. Give him a little plug. Who else? Um, I I, I bump shoulders and rub shoulders with Trey Nine and stuff like that. Rubbed elbows with Trey Nine. Rubbed elbows with people like. Um, I, I, the list can go on and on. Well, that's why I'm asking. Like, 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 <laughs> who, those of you don't know, uh, rub, rub elbows with people like Von Juan, do the Don Juan. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that, it, it, that sounds funny, but if those of you who know, it's just that's, those are just the two individuals. Yeah, right, two <laughs> different guys. Caliber, yeah. yeah. But uh, who else? I mean, uh, it's, it's really a, a lot of people. It's secular and, and, and um, Christian hip hop because. I have a lot of friends in the music industry in my city. They do secular yeah. music, but we're in the same industry, and they're, they're gotcha. kind of wanting to, to team up and work together. I did a few there, but I mean, the, yeah. And then that, that's not to mention the guys I went to high school with. <laughs> yeah. So did um, I, I know you did a single um, uh, on his project of uh, script. You was on a project with. Oh yeah, script. With script. Yeah, you definitely. Did a script was a major a major blessing in my life. But I I, I he probably he probably uh. I probably didn't mention him because our relationship it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like an artist relationship it feels like more like a like a brother or cousin relationship. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, like he just me and him for for some reason we we got a lot in common and I hit gotcha. the, the things that he's doing I I, I see my, I say I see myself doing I catch myself doing. Yeah. So he's, we're just like friends almost oh, not yeah. even not even coworkers right. more like friends. But people gotcha. like that yeah like, there's a lot of people like that that I didn't even mention that yeah we're just we're so close that it doesn't seem like a feature it seems like like everyday life <laughs> yeah so you talk to him pretty regular and you just maybe do a I song with him I don't, I don't call him on the phone every day yeah but i mean like you, i mean for me for me <laughs> well for me when i my relationships i have like I'll, I'll talk with folks when i say regular i'm talking maybe three or four times a year five times a year yeah something like that yeah we you stay know? in touch yeah. I mean, I don't, for me like if i see somebody every day that's that's irregular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like it's a lot. Yeah, it's irregular. That's but uh, so uh, you did your you did your your sabbatical um, joint. You, you got you um, you pulled that off and and uh, uh, did that whole project. And so then you just recently released a couple of EPs mm-hmm. on iTunes yeah. and Spotify. So tell me a little bit about those yeah. those two projects. Well, just I was trying to well the, tell me about the first one. The first yeah, one, yeah. yeah. The, first, the first EP that you mentioned is called uh, Interim. And doing that one, I was really just uh, in a in a dark place in my own life. And I, after I released the sabbatical album, I kind of disappeared off of off of uh, social media for a while, just to just to not find myself, but find the, the my why. Why am I making music, yeah. basically? And uh, just internalizing a lot. Of thoughts, dealing with a lot of emotions on the inside, and in doing gotcha. so, I ended up writing music. That's just that's just uh, one of the thing, one of the outlets that I have. And I, uh, that that's it was what birthed it was. That's what that's what was birthed out of yeah. the, out of the the circumstances and situations, and then uh, I followed that up with another EP called uh, Engender, and that was pretty much just a continuation from the first one. Pr- pr- what do they call them? Uh, I don't know. You can write like back 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 door and it kind of yeah. that kind of thing. But I mean, other than that, yeah, I've just been I've, I've been trying to get get comfortable making music again instead of doing it for others, you know, doing it for yeah. myself more, and that's pretty much where i'm at today just making music out of my so like on your um you, you know you said that you uh you had um that guy what would you say his name was that produced that first track the, the tracks Bryce, the first Bryson Pelly. okay so so who, who who did your your production on the second on these last two eps that you did on the last two i i, I, I did most of the production making the beats and all that and then i was just tinkering around and then uh started picking up tips and uh pointers from a lot of other producers in my city and they helped me a lot so i've, I've been just having fun learning creating and that's really the the space that i'm in right now is just a real 
real organic and uh, creative space. I'm trying to stay there, so I'll probably end up putting out some more music. I'm already working on more songs and stuff like that. And just so you did. A, you said yeah. one of your songs you had um, uh, off that first EP, um, and then you actually mentioned it in in uh, a slip, the sabbatical. You were talking about. Um, Everybody, everybody's a rapper. You talk, you're, oh, you're always talking about everybody. Every, every, too many people, people, too many people yeah. and then the other one was, uh, what was the other one? I can't remember the, number, the name of it. You were talking about everybody, everybody's rapping and uh, everybody in your city raps. I can't remember which, which, oh, I which think song it was. Was it live from the co? Was think, it live from the co? Okay. Song. And that, that that was a, that was a project. I guess we kind of we kind of missed as, as as far as talking. I have I have I make a lot of music as any other artist would. So it's, it's easy to get lost in my own catalog. So, th but yeah, I did a, I did a project called Rogue Witness and uh, 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 a blog site called Rapzilla. I don't know how many people know about it, but that's a, a Christian hip hop blog. They're they're like worldwide too. Yeah. They uh they picked it up and they uh they ran with it. It got a lot of got a lot of views, got a lot of listens, a lot of streams, downloads, all that. But yeah, the song I did on there was called Live from the Code, and I was just talking about how pretty much everybody raps. And I, I told, I think I told you that the other day. I feel like it's it's just a norm for everybody has to have a mixtape. Yeah. You should have a mixtape. Mix <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody should have. A mix yeah, mine's tape. coming out next week. So. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool, man. Uh, so, what do you got? What do you got coming on the next, the next uh, six, twelve months, eighteen months? What, 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 are you, what are you working on? You got anything working on? Any, yeah, any I've, projects? I've actually just just been working on a, uh, I guess what they would call a reinsurgence of my of my um, myself as a as an artist because. Uh, I got lost in making music for the wrong reasons, making music to try to impress instead of to, I guess, actually utilize the gifts that I was given. And falling back, I took a, took a sabbatical, ironically, and uh, came back just so so clear-headed and so focused. I, it was really needed. And I would just say to anybody listening, don't be afraid to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You have, you have, however old you may be, it's, it's always a new day every day you wake up, so don't be afraid to <laughs> So, so do you? Um, so, do you do full? Do you are you a full time artist? Do you, you do music full time or like currently? No, I, uh, I work a job, and I make what you work a job? job. Yeah, I work a job. <laughs> eight to five. What? Most people think that that's like you do music. That that's all you do. Yeah, a lot of people probably would believe that just because I don't really. I say I don't really. I don't hide it, but I don't. And then here we go again, glazing up, uh, skipping over the, my catalog because I have so many music. If, if you go back and, and dig into my history, I actually did a mixtape called Workers Comp, <laughs> and it was it was the picture was me in my work uniform in front of the, in front of the place I work, and uh, I, I actually shot a music video there, and it got a lot of views. People might have seen it. I shot a music video in a grocery, a local grocery store in our city, and uh, actually got called to the HR office, and they had a meeting with me telling me if I ain't take it down, I was gonna get fired and all this. So it, I've I've done that before, which is which is put the spotlight on my not my flaws, but my struggles of of trying to make music full time. But the way I went about it, I guess backfired on me, and uh, I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> I guess you could say. <laughs> Which is which is still work, right? Yeah, <laughs> not trying to get. We gonna sue you, man. Yeah, man, that's cool. Well, cool. So, um, so uh, we got you got you say you have another EP coming out. You got yeah, you yeah. got something coming out. I got like, I got a, I got a, uh, a five got a whole band, bunch, basically. You know uh, what I mean? And got I'm a, trying to stick to it. Got a bunch of stuff in the vault. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of stuff that I'm working on. But as far as releasing and stuff like that, I think. Uh, I think I know what I'm doing, but nobody else does. So you guys, are and you're not fixing to tell us. I, I can tell you guys, <laughs> but that would that would it, it would make it less fun for you. Yeah. So. I cannot give you other secrets. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you're just gonna have to enjoy it as it comes. I guess. Cool, man. That's cool. Well, man, glad you joined us in the morning. I uh, pre appreciate you coming, hanging out with us for a few minutes. Yes, uh, man, y'all can check out uh, Capital G on uh, was it iTunes. iTunes iTunes, Spotify, where you get your music, Spotify, Google Play, YouTube, Amazon, everything like SoundCloud. That Piff, um, everybody uses that Piff. Cool. Um, well, man, look him up, hit him up. Uh, social media is what was your again? At capital G S T C C A P I T A L G S T C. Yeah, that's capital G. Cool. All right then, man. Well, we holler at you guys later, man. Thank you guys for listening all across the globe. We appreciate you listening worldwide. every worldwide. <laughs> Uh, Riverside Weekly. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, man, appreciate you guys. Man, we'll catch up with you guys next week. We'll holler at you guys. Peace out. Peace. Thank you for listening to the Riverside Weekly. Download the Riverside Waco app to stay connected and follow us on all social media sites at the Riverside Waco. This podcast is made possible by the givers of Riverside Community Church. 
Production and engineering provided by Capital G and DRS in Waco, Texas.